and welcome to Capacity TV. My name is Natalie Bannerman. I am Deputy Editor at Capacity Media. So we are here at Capacity Europe 2023 and I am delighted to be joined by Sabine Citarelli, who is Vice President of Network Infrastructure EMEA at Akamai Technologies, but who is also an ambassador for the Empowered Network, which for those of you who don't know, is a new networking community for women in telecoms and technology, all brought to you by Capacity. Sabine, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Natalie. It's so exciting to be here. Absolutely. And uh, in particular, to talk about this topic, which I know is very close to your heart. So we're going to have a great conversation, right? Absolutely. So um, most people won't know that the ambassador, the empowered, sorry, empowered network was actually started by you emailing us about doing more for women in telecoms and technology. So you were really the catalyst, Sabine, and I think it would be worth uh, for the people who don't know to um, understand what made you want us to reach out to us about this? What did you see that needed to be addressed in the industry? Very good question. So I reached out because um, I uh, read that actually Ofcom, the regulator, and uh, the top seven largest ISPs in the UK made uh, a pledge to uh, bring more women into senior technical leadership uh, um, positions. And I was really very much uh, impressed uh, by that. Um, they said they're going to meet on an annual basis to share best practices, to uh, come up with a report. Um, they want to uh, focus on talent attraction, actually a panel we had earlier in the week. And um, they made the commitment um, to uh, the industry. So I was deeply um, impressed by this pledge and I, I did a little research. Um, not sure if it was just me, um, but actually I couldn't find that in any other country across the world that a similar pledge um, has made. Um, so um, since we already connected since a while, um, I thought that especially the capacity media team, you already have a platform, a network, you are um, the leader bringing in bringing the telco industry um, together. So if it's someone who can bring the telco industry together to form like a community or do something about it, that's the first thought I had, the capacity media team. Absolutely. And we're very glad that you thought of us because, I mean, it, it's been very well received so far because um, obviously we launched it here at Capacity Europe. So that's great. So why do you think groups like Empowered are kind of key to moving the needle forward in the kind of gender equality fight in the industry? Because we are one of many. So why, why are these groups crucial? I'm a big believer in sharing best practices, um, experiences, training, supporting each other, mentorship, sponsorship. Um, a few years back, um, with two wonderful uh, other women at Akamai, we founded the uh, Akamai EMEA Women's Forum. Um, I'm also ambassador on Akamai's uh, Inclusion, Diversity, Engagement uh, uh, group. And um, I'm also participating um, in Akamai Executives Net uh, Executive uh, Women's uh, Network. So these are all groups. I mean, they have slightly different uh, focus areas. But uh, every time we meet, there's an event uh, training. There's something to uh, learn about. I strongly believe that the empowered uh, network, it's not just um, a platform. It brings, uh, it's from women for women. Um, every level can join and it's already so powerful to bring not only a platform to have the platform, but it's a community to bring everyone together. Absolutely. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself. So, um, you know, as part of the launch for the Empowered Network, we also have Empowered Magazine, which you uh, contributed a piece for. And I think you... Uh, brought to us a, a, an amazing piece of your own story, um, which is based on a three decades as a woman uh, in the tech industry. Um, why, t talk to me about a, a little of that experience if you can, and I suppose why you've decided to help the next generation of women in the space. Is there anything particular to your story that makes you want to reach back out? 
um, the reason why um, I'm supporting these type of initiatives because for me it's now time to pass the elevator down and lift up the other women in the industry. So uh, that makes me feel a little bit old already, but three <laughs> decades in the industry. So I've been through a lot, let's put it this way. And I made experiences and uh, through this opportunity, writing the thought leadership article, uh, having mentees, and I'm, st I'm still uh, having mentors um, or through trainings, I'm reflecting and then I'm thinking, if I would have known this 10 years, 20 years ago, I mean, I don't know who I have been now, right? Mm -hmm. So that's basically the interest I'm having. There's things which I think I could have done better in the past, but it took me several years to uh, learn about it, or I wasn't even aware that I could have made it better. Um, which brings me to uh, my story. I mean, writing the thought leadership article, and then actually that was only becoming, um, I only become aware of this, preparing a little bit uh, for, for this interview with you, Natalie, okay. is one of the key themes in my career is actually breaking down barriers and norms. And uh, what became clear to me, it's basically how I was raised. And that's how I also started that um, thought leadership um, article. So my parents, they had a mechan mechanical engineering business. Okay. And it was clear from back to my memories that my older brother actually inherits this business. And I was raised to support men. And then Therefore, also, of course, to support my brother once he um, took over the mechani mechanical engineering business. So I think nowadays you probably would call that role executive assistant. <laughs> um, but for me, honestly, that wasn't good enough. Right. So um, I defied with, the, with their expectations and actually I was the first one in the family to uh, go after a university uh, a degree. Wow. And then through my, my career is when I get into situations where there is massive workload, where we are, um, especially also now being 23 years with Akamai, we have to move mountains, uh, to break through, is basically I don't take norms as granted and then trying to find ways with the teams to break through how we can do things differently. Right. Um, for example, in a thought leadership article, I'm also talking or writing about that for years I had challenges to actually speak up, but it's so important mm -hmm. and it was really hard work not only by my mentor, but then also by myself, who um, to finally uh, speak up. I mean, English is not my native language. Right. I mean, nowadays, uh, children um, have options, even if uh, their parents don't speak many languages, mm -hmm. they can learn languages early in, in, in their lives. Again, I was raised very German traditional, so my first exposure to a, to a language was in fifth grade. And since then, I had my challenges. Um, so I was hesitant to speak up because I was afraid that I'm making mistakes. Right. Um, how does it come out? Uh, do I make grammatical issue, uh, uh, mistakes? But my uh, mentor was really very painful and said, oh, Sabine, you didn't speak up or in a meeting, called me up. And I hated that. <laughs> but at some time it became a routine and I was right. pushing myself. And even nowadays, uh, you would not recognize in meetings, it's so important also for myself. Maybe sometimes I'm over-exaggerating right. that, that maybe I'm chiming in, but I just want to uh, bring, bring my point across. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it's interesting. I'm, I'm hearing so many echoes of, of, of the challenges that many of us face, even though our stories are not the same and our beginnings are not the same. I think we all kind of face a similar, ch a similar challenge in certain spaces. So, I mean, we could keep going for ages, but I won't keep you much longer. Sabine, thank you not only for this interview, but for your continued support of the Empowered Network. Thank you. Thank you so much, Natalie. Absolutely. And to everybody watching, thank you so much for your time.